We are back in St. Louis. It's day two. We were here yesterday. Lost about $275. Uh, what else? Nothing. Let's go. See you in the casino. Bye. Uh, uh. Greetings from the Ameristar Casino in St. Louis, Missouri. Under the gun makes it 15, under the gun plus one calls. Early on in the session, I'm not sure I want to be dangling my feet in the three bet water, so I just make the call for 15. See a flop, navigate, try to flop a flush or a strike, and just maybe see what happens. Hey, a flopping two pair would be sweet, too. Uh, as far as missing the flop goes, this is a pretty good way to do it. Six of diamonds, seven of diamonds, eight of clubs. I'm open ended and I have a flush draw. And I probably would have gone for the check raise, but we don't get a chance. Everybody uh, checks through, turns three of clubs. I lead out now $25, and nobody seemed to have any interest whatsoever in this pot. And much to my surprise, a big blind comes in for 65 It's a raise of $40, another gun plus one folds after the end of the gun player folds two. So what do I do? Well, I think it's a straightforward call. I suppose there is a world where you could raise here, and maybe I should have, but uh, I didn't. Uh, I went for the call, King of Hearts on the turn. This is uh, one of the arguments for raising on the turn. Give your chance to fire this river and win the pot. Instead, I got a check and throw my hand away when he bets. So very early on uh, in the session here at the very first table, because I move a couple times, find myself stuck. <laughs> Little teaser for upcoming vlogs. Uh, this was filmed way before the World Series of Poker. I've already been to the World Series once. I'm going back for the main next week. But while I was there at the World Series for the first time, I played two World Series of Poker events and lasted a total of two hands. No jokes. You'll have to uh, check out those vlogs when they come. Now, this hand is three bit written all over. I got the five, six of clubs. Make it $75. In hindsight, I probably could have made it just a little bit more, especially since I know what the action is going to be throughout the rest of the hand. But as played, I made it $75, which was the perfect price for the middle position players. He immediately comes along. And the low jack comes along. And once the middle position low jack player, the button's really not gonna have a choice. He's getting like 390 to one or something like something roughly like that to come along. So he's getting the right price no matter what he's got really. It comes 10 ace queen, so obviously I nail it. Gonna go for the check raise for value. Okay, that's definitely a lie. I'm just gonna go for the check fold. Turns a five, no one seems interested at all in this pot. Just like the last one where I got raised when I bet, I'm gonna throw out a bet again. I mean, nobody has shown any interest. So I go ahead and I uh, fire out $130, just trying to take it down now. It works, and here's what I thought at the table at the time. All right, 75 free flop, it came. Ace, 10, queen. None of you had any of that. Uh, so there's not really much to talk about. So I'm gonna tell you a joke real quick. I'm gonna talk fast, you know, because these mid-session updates can't last forever. On my shoulder here, I got a blonde girl, a red-haired girl, and a brunette. Grab the blonde hair girl off my shoulder. Stick it up to your ear. Does that feel like the first time you ever had sex? No? Okay, put it back on my shoulder. All right, grab the red hair girl. Put her up to your ear. Feel like the first time you had sex? No? Put her back on my shoulder. Well, whatever the other girl is, I haven't told you to pick her up. Now put her next to your ear. Does that feel like the first time you had sex? Still no? Put her back. Now pick all of them up. Shake them up. All right, now this one's squirrely, and it's squirrely from the get-go. The under-the-gun player limps, which is, as you know, squirrely. Under-gun plus one player raises. Not so squirrely. That's allowed. Middle position player makes the call. That's so far so good. Cut off calls. This is all fine and dandy, similar to sour candy. Now, I look down at Ace Diamond Queen Hearts on the button again, and I think we know what's coming. That's right. The three bet. This time I do size up to make it $100 because $75 didn't get it done. The end of the gun push <laughs> the gun player who limped. Yeah, of course he's got a hundred dollar hand. Why wouldn't he? Does he really have a hundred dollar hand, guys? I think we all know that's impossible. Under the gun plus one player makes the call. Now just pricing in everybody. Middle position player comes along too. Somehow the cutoff finds a fold because he hates money. And we're gonna go again four ways to a flop, which I again nail. Six deuce king. Um you know, I'm starting to get this reputation, it seems. If you check to me, I'll bet. And of course I'm gonna oblige them. After the middle position takes three years to check, I go ahead and I do it again, guys. I, I know I shouldn't. I, I preach here all the time. Don't see bet with nothing into a whole bunch of people, but this is the third hand in a row I've done it. Here I'm making $140 to go under the gun player who limped under the gun on 
now has a $140 hand. So he's invested $240 in a hand that he thought was worth limping. The end of the gun plus one player thinks about it for two and a half years, finally calls, middle position player gets out of the way relatively quickly. We're going to go three ways to a turn card now, and there's really not much I can hope to hit but an ace. Come to six of spades, and that's, I have nothing. I mean, I just have, I literally have nothing. Another gun player checks, and now when the end of the gun plus one player decides to throw out a bet $220, does it make sense? No. But the problem is I don't have anything. Let's get technical for a second. I don't block anything. I don't have card removal. I have no value. I, I have nothing. So I fold and this is what the guy had to say about it. Do not throw that hand away. I was bluffing. I was bluffing. Do not throw that hand away. And I'm not gonna let anybody talk to me like that. I'll do what I want. If you're watching this the day it came out, that is October 28th or hell any Tuesday. The So Rude $50 tournament is on at 8 p.m. That's on Club GG, and the way to get invited into that is just by messaging me on any social media. So the night before we also played, I lost $275, and this hand here is a big reason why. Uh, this was an unvlog session, mainly because I had some goo on my camera lens. As you can see, it looks kind of fuzzy and gross and disgusting. But anyway, I didn't vlog it, but this hand was interesting enough. I thought I would throw it in for your uh, consumption today. Here I have Ace King off suit, and I made a, I made a, a sizable raise pre-flop. I don't remember what it was. You can go back and, and look. Everybody checked uh, over to me on this King High flop, and... <laughs> I bet when I have nothing, so I'm probably going to bet when I have something. I throw out that $50 wager. That small blind gets out of the way. The big blind is one of those tanking people. Finally makes the call. Low jack folds in. The hijack is a, a friend of mine named The Deem. Doesn't look anything like that woman that I have. Uh, Jane is a, the avatar I have for him. Doesn't look anything like that, but uh, he decides to go ahead and make the call. Uh, we're way past that. We're on the turn now. Deuce of clubs. Check, check again to me. I go for more value, this time $140. Remember, Jack 10's a thing. People can have Jack 10 and Ace Jack and, 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 and stuff like that. Plus King Jack, King 10, things like this. Got to get value from these hands, got to charge people, and that's what I decided to do with that $140 bet, which the button immediately, uh, button is me. The big blind immediately calls, and then uh, the Dean on, in the hijack, he makes the call as well, and we go three ways now to a river which is the eight of hearts. So now everything misses. And I'm gonna be left with an interesting decision if it goes check, check to me. Do I throw out a bet? Do I target hands like King Jack? Or do I just check it behind knowing that like Jack 10 and Miss Flush Draws aren't gonna call anything? I think it's, I, I think it's close. Uh, Grace did not think it was close. She thought this was an obvious check back. So that's probably the correct answer. I throw out $300, I guess targeting those kings that I can beat, although there's really only one, and it's King Jack, and I'm not even sure that King Jack would have stuck around this long. Big blind folds the hijack, the Vadim immediately calls the 300, and he shows the king three and uh, whoops my butt. The Rad Poker has a new way to play. Hit up that description box below, find out more information to get in there. Now we're gonna move on to the final hand here. Under the gun makes us $6. You want to talk about squirrely. I don't think that min rays can get through. Under the gun plus one makes it 22. So it, it lasted exactly one player before it got raised again. Middle position player comes along for 22. It's going to fold over to my friend on the button. Her name is Brittany. But in this vlog, she is represented by Lydia. I uh, have Ace King off suit facing a, what, four bet now. I'm going to make it a five bet because... Ace King is just too strong and I'm out of position too. A lot of good reasons to throw in the five bet. So there it is. There's the five bet. $200 is big enough. Likely not. Um, I do seem to have an issue with my three and four bets. They're never big enough. So uh, under the gun had a plan. His plan was to go all in and he does it for 194 total. Gets the middle and the under the gun plus one player to fold. But it's not going to get Brittany to fold. It's only $125 more for her to call. It will create like a what $8 side pot or $12 side, whatever it is. $12 side pot, I guess. Um, but we don't really care about that. And even though he put 22 over there, I think that's wrong. It doesn't make any difference. Flop is three, king, jack. So the only hand that I'm now losing to that I was beating is exactly pocket jacks. And there's things out there like ace, queen that we need to worry about or king, queen with like clubs. So 
We need to throw out a, a wager there. I make it one hundred and sixty dollars. And Brittany hates her life because she has pocket queens. She throws them away correctly. And uh, the rest, of, we're just gonna go battle now. We're gonna battle for the rest of the spot. Just me and the all-in player. Comes a seven. Comes an eight. And I flip over the ace king, which is gonna be good enough to win. Is he just has a little teeny tiny pair of tens, and I'm able to scoop the last pot of this session. Yay me. I'm in bed. So the downswing continues. Let me know what I can do to make you happy in the comment section. If you like these videos, like, subscribe, comment, share, pray, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in one week. Goodbye. One week from now. See you.